Here's a unicycle I bought off of uh, Craigslist. I got it for $50. I think knew it was going for around $150 according to the guy I bought it from. And first couple things about the unicycle is uh, adjust the height. So basically you want it so when you're on the downward, you don't lock your, when you're in the downward motion, your foot shouldn't ever go straight, but it should go just a little bit to where it bends. And that's how you should adjust the height. With the tire pressure inside the tire, if you're just starting out, I think it'll take a little bit out and you want a little bit of pressure. You don't want a very, very hard tire. If you have a really, really hard tire, it'll be easier. It'll have less rolling resistance so you can go faster. But that's actually not good when you're first starting out because you might, it might go too fast for you or this might slow down the movement a little bit and be easier for you to uh, get learning. Now, uh, you could do this a couple ways. You could start by resting your butt against a car. So you can actually rest this against something. But the way I do is I just hold on to something. While I get into the bottom, I usually do, I'm right side dominant, so I start with my right. And then uh, click this. And see, when I, when I put all my weight on this, it's gonna kind of move this up. So let me show you. That'll move that up. And then I kind of balance, and now I'm on. And now get to this position here. You can still hold on. And now this is like your balancing point right here. Make sure you put a lot of weight on here. You want all your weight here. You don't want to be not on the seat because that'll unbalance you. Put your weight down on the seat. Rest your, your butt right on there, your tailbone. Or really just the middle section you want to rest on there. And then go back and forth and this is how it's going to feel. And then when you're ready, lead in with whichever foot you feel comfortable with. And something to know is most people when they start when they're starting to learn, they don't lean forward enough. You're afraid you're gonna fall forward. So most of your falls, you know, you, you can usually catch yourself, but most of your falls are gonna be back. But uh, lean, if you lean forward a little bit, put that weight on there, that's how you're really gonna get that balance point. And then once you get that balance point, you can start going. Now this is hard because I have a little uh, downgrade here. You wanna start off on a straight, smooth surface. But uh, I've been doing this now for a little while that I could go from here. So once you're balanced and once you're good, you got that weight down, you just gotta keep trying, go back and forth. You're gonna fall a bunch of times. It took me hours and hours to get this. But after you fall a few times, um, you'll eventually get it. And then every time you get on the unicycle, it'll be easy again. One thing I kind of struggle with is my feet move around on the pedals a little bit. I don't know if that's this unicycle or, or how fidgety I am, but uh, it's really hard to reposition on a unicycle once you put your weight on it. So make sure when you're on those first steps that your feet are perfectly aligned. I like kind of putting more of the front of the foot, move the, not, the pedal's not in the middle of my foot, it's actually, I push my feet back a little bit, if you see that, because that way I feel like I'm more in control and I can kind of regulate that better. So once you get that going, you just gotta, you just gotta go. And eventually, you should just be able to launch very easily.